we'll do is the patient will sit with numbing cream on for about 30 minutes and then I'll cleanse her skin and take off all the numbing cream. So is your face pretty numb? Yes, it's very numb. Usually, especially around the mouth, after about five minutes, they start to feel it pretty quickly. Now, once the skin is clean and dry, the next step is to use a hyaluronic acid serum that's going to um, give the skin and the needles lubrication to move, but then it also, the needles will penetrate the hyaluronic acid into the skin. And hyaluronic acid is something that we naturally have in our bodies, and it um, binds our water molecules together. So it's excellent for hydration. So basically the serum, we just kind of, I put it on kind of by area that I'm working on. And it's just a clear serum. And I always start really light on the skin just so the patient gets comfortable with the needles and the vibration. You can see the device, um, it has 12 needles at the end. And depending on how high I turn it up is how deep the needles go. So it can be personalized for each patient. Absolutely. Please. And on different areas. So I, you know, I normally, I go a lot deeper, kind of in the cheek area and on the chin. And I kind of go mid depth on the neck and on the nose and upper lip. And then we go lightest on the forehead for a couple reasons. Number one, um, it being that it's, it's thinner skin up there and it's right on the bone. So you really don't need to go deeper. And it's also a little more painful up there. So you can see, so that was just a really light pass. So it's just a little bit of redness. It's rare to get any pinprick bleeding on the lighter one. But I'll turn it up. And, and we go in multiple different passes, different directions. So how does it feel? You don't really feel anything. So there's no pain? No. You feel the vibration, but it doesn't hurt. Now everyone's pain tolerance is different. So, you know, we'll definitely customize that by patient. I have many patients who actually fall asleep. No one believes this, but it's actually kind of relaxing with the vibration it's like a and the motion. Mm -hmm. And you can see under her eyes, I haven't gone super close yet. I kind of just finished at the orbital bone because when I'm done, I'll go a lot lighter and I'll get really close around the eyes to work on kind of the crow's feet and the dark circles. So doing the microneedling on the nose is especially beneficial for the pores and for the blackheads, the melia. Now we're doing the neck and the neck gets wonderful results in the crepiness of the skin and the fine lines and wrinkles. The neck though is also more of a sensitive area. So I, we don't do as many passes on the neck. We've microneedled the skin. Then we, we rinse the face with distilled water. Cleanse the, the skin floor. post microneedling. Then we extracted the plasma out of the blood draw tube and take the needle off. And basically we're gonna massage the plasma into the skin. And it gets pretty drippy and that's normal, it's really liquidy. And we just kind of massage it all over. I like to really focus on the fine lines and wrinkles, so I get it really close to the under eye area, put it on the eyelids, um, especially all around the mouth, and I even get over the lips as well. And, and this, this is, is the plasma? Um, the plasma from her own blood. There's never an issue of cross-contamination down the skin. So however red the patient is post microneedling, since the plasma is so calming and healing, the patient leaves um, 
with the skin feeling cool and not as inflamed and the skin isn't as inflamed for the plasma treatment would be to go home with um, the plasma still on the skin and the skin will tighten kind of like an egg white feel so it'll get really tight but it'll be clear and we'll wait at least four hours to wash your face and product wise we, we recommend using all of your good products whether it's TNS so any growth factors antioxidants and good hydration so good moisturizer and you'll do that for the next week.